Hello, Steve Dennis here, and I'm excited about this new video. It's entitled, How to Reset and Reflect for Your New Year. Hey, are you ready? Then let's grow. Hello, Steve Dennis here, and I'm excited to share with you a subject matter that I know without a doubt is going to add tremendous value to you, especially if you have a desire to make some improvements in your life. You know, we're at the beginning of 2024, and I'm still saying to people, Happy New Year. But here's another thought that is also uh, flowing in my mind when I say Happy New Year. Here's my point. New Year better me. <laughs> I want to encourage you. What would, what would a better you look like for this new year? So today I want to talk to you about to, how to reset and reflect on your new year. Now, one of the ways that you and I can reset and reflect for your new year is by looking at some successes that you've had in the previous year. So I want you to do that, do that right quick. Think about some successes that you've had in the last year? What, what makes you smile? What did you do that literally caused you to say, you know what, that was an achievement. That was a success. That's something I had set my intentions on in January of 2023. And by the end of 2023, you saw that result show up and some, okay? So today, let's talk about reset and reflecting for your new year. Now, here's what I do know, gang. Check this out. It is important that you and I make time to reflect. Let me repeat that. It is important that we make time to reflect. Why is that? Because what I value is what I, is what I find time for. Let me repeat that. What I value is what I will find the time for. If I don't value something, I won't find or make the time for it. So I want to encourage you. When I'm, when I'm in uh, corporations and companies, one of the most powerful leadership principles that I teach is called the law of reflection. I teach leaders how to reflect. I teach leaders that reflection time turns your experiences into insight. Now here's the contrast. When I regret, okay, and, and, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? So in other words, if, I, if I'm not reflecting on an experience, I may have a tendency based on my past programming to regret it. So regret time turns your experiences into more of an insult, where reflection time turns those experiences into more of an insight. In other words, you learn something new about yourself on how to navigate from a difficult situation that you did not know beforehand. So for, here's my point. I'm gonna, give you, I'm gonna give you some questions that you can ask yourself that will allow you to reflect. Now many of you, if you have the time, I would invite you to go back and listen to this video again so you can have pen and paper in hand and write down some of your responses or your answers to some of these questions, okay? Question number, number one, what should I do less of? Oh my. What should I do less of? Now, now, now get this. You can apply these questions in every area of your life. What should I do less of in my relationships? What should I do less of in my business? What should I do less of with my health? <laughs> okay. What should I do less of? And this, I'm, I'm laughing because I just had a thought come to my mind on what I should do less in regards to my health. I should eat less sweets. <laughs> Hey, I, I need to eat less fried food. I, I need to eat less sugary foods, okay? Here's my point. What should I do less of that will help me to, again, to hit or, 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 or obtain a new result? Number two, question number two. So not only should I, what should I do less of, but now check this out. Number two, what should I do more? What should I do more? Drink more water. Exercise more, do more cardio, do more weight training. If I want to burn more calories, okay? So think about it. In your relationships, what should you do more? You know, I was doing a workshop last year, this past year actually, and um, I was talking to a group about accountability. And, and you know, again, oftentimes when I'm doing that, I will actually go first. And for, for an example, I will share something that I want to be held accountable to, uh, for. 
So this group I had, we were meeting together for four weeks straight, right? And so every one day a week for eight hours, an eight hour workshop. And uh, I told the group, I said, guys, by the time we're done with our class, okay, by the end of the four weeks, I would have wanted to date my wife at least three times. And sure enough, those guys held me accountable. They asked me the following week, Steve, did you date your wife? And I literally recorded the place where we were eating and also took a bunch of pictures. And I walked around and showed them the pictures. In other words, here's my point of showing them that, yes, I decided I want to do more dating my wife. Okay. Now, here's my whole point. They held me accountable. They saw the picture. <laughs> they gave me an attaboy. But on, here's my point, that accountability also caused me to be more intentional on following through with my new plan, okay? So again, the second one is, what should I do more? Number three, what can we do to improve this? What an amazing question I want to encourage you that you can use with family members, your team, your department, your organization. What can we do, what, what, what can we do to improve a situation? What can we do to improve a project? What can we do to improve a relationship? A good question. If you're a parent, a good question to ask your kids. Be that if they're 25 or 20 uh, or at 15, okay? What can we do to improve this? And the fourth question, oh, I love the fourth question. Think about this. That will help you to reflect. What in your life needs more fuel? It needs more energy. You need to put more energy into it. What shows up in your life right now that you need to put more energy into? Is there a relationship? Is there something with your health that you need to put more energy into? Now allow yourself to, to see what shows up, what type, of, what type of answers will show up in response to that question, what needs more fuel? And then number five, the fifth question. Who do I need help from? <laughs> wow, what a wonderful question because my friend, no matter who you are, you and I both need help. Here's something I learned from my mentor, John Maxwell. One is too small of a number to achieve greatness. So if you want to be great, if you want to achieve greatness this year, you're going to need some help and it's okay to ask for help. <laughs> Uh, who do I need help from? So my, my, my point is this, guys. No matter what type of dream or desire you have for your life, if it's big, get this, if it's a big dream, you need an effective team. You got to have some help. So I want to encourage you with this as we close. To just, I want to share these questions with you, again, in regards to having a set of questions that will help you to not only to reset but also to reflect on what type of year you want to have. Here's the good news. You can always hit that reset button. What if you could take this thought in your mind that there's no such thing as mistakes, only lessons? And here's what I know. Here's what I know. By the time you and I get to the end of, the, uh, end of this year, if we continue to keep these five questions at the top of mind, here's what I know. You're going to see an amazing improvement in your year, in your life, in your relationships, and also in your finances. Why? Because you're choosing to reset and reflect for your brand new year. Thank you very much.